You see what a big booty can get you? It can get you your own comedy show on ABC Family. <laughs> this is going to have to be the biggest ass that's ever been put on TV ever. So Deadline.com has a news story about Nicki Minaj. I'm going to read it to you and give you my opinion. Deadline.com writes, and I quote, Nicki Minaj is set to executive produce and appear in a scripted comedy series for ABC Family based on the rap star's life growing up in Queens, New York. The project from Erin Kaplan's Capital Entertainment, that's Capital with a K, will film a pilot episode in Minaj's hometown this winter with the intention to continue to series. Born in St. James, Trinidad and Tobago, Minaj moved to the U.S. as a child, written by K. Angelo of Sex Tape. The untitled series will focus on Minaj's growing up in Queens in the 1990s with her vibrant immigrant family and the personal and musical evolution that led to her eventual rise to stardom. Nicki Minaj is a force to be reckoned with at everything she touches, said ABC Family's EVP, Programming and Development, Kerry Burke. Quote, Nikki is an international superstar, yet not everyone knows how inspiring and hilarious her true story is. And we can't wait to share it with the world. Pause the story right there. Didn't she have an abusive father? He was abusive or on drugs. It was something fucked up that I heard about him. Anyways, story goes on to say, Minaj, Kaplan, and Angelo, executive produced with Stella Belochnikov and Brian Schur of Boss, as well as G. Robertson. Quote, this is one of the more unique adventures I'll ever embark on, said Minaj. I couldn't be more proud and excited to team up with an amazing group of people to give the world something really special. Minaj studied acting at Manhattan's prestigious LaGuardia High School and originally pursued acting before launching a successful music career. Minaj, who was in the midst of her worldwide pink print tour, is the first solo female artist to have seven singles charting simultaneously on the US Billboard Hot 100. Her third full-length album, The Pink Print, became the second highest selling female debut of 2014 and arrived at number two on the Billboard Top 200 and number one on the Billboard R&B slash hip hop albums chart. Additionally, Minaj's double platinum Anaconda set the record for the most Vivo views in 24 hours. Minaj also achieved the highest digital sales for any female artist in history. Let me reread that. Minaj also achieved the highest digital sales for any female artist in history with over 50 million track sales between solo and feature performances. She and Adele are the only two artists in history to sell 1 million copies of five different songs in one year. End quote. Here's the deal. The story goes on to brag about how great Nicki Minaj is. If you want to read it for yourself, visit my blog. There's a link there. I just wanted to give my opinion because this, <laughs> this story is longer than what I thought. I, I, this is taking too long. But let me just say this. Congratulations to Nicki Muffins. Like I always say, I imagine this bitch smelling like chocolate chip muffins. Don't fucking ask me why. But anyway, Nicki Minaj and her big old booty on my screen sounds like a great day for any day of the week. But according to what I read, she said on Instagram... She's looking for somebody to play her when she was younger. Because remember, this is set in the 90s. So, as much as I would like to see her every week on the show, it looks like she may not make an actual appearance in front of the camera at all. Maybe they could fit her in there like herself now talking to herself then. Like the ghost of Christmas past or the future or some shit. You know, like the, yeah, like the, <laughs> like the ghost of Christmas future. She'd pop, just pop up and be like, girl, you better leave him alone because he ain't shit. Trust me. It's not worth the trouble. You'll still be hurting about him in the future if you go and you date him. Now that would be funny to see her come in and talk to her old self and be like, who the fuck are you? Girl, I'm you in the future. Really? Where you get all that ass from? Oh, I went to the same doctor as Kim K and got these cakes. I mean, that could be an interesting show. They need to have me write some of that shit. Shout out to my girl, Nikki. If you need a writer, let me know. Anyways, this is all my opinion. Can't wait to see the show. I love me some Nikki Minaj, a.k.a. Nikki Muffins. So 
Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels and visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more.